hello everyone we'll continue the creation of field catalog so i will firstly uncomment this exporting i will uncomment this structure name parameter and i will pass the structure here now here i cannot pass a structure which we created using types statement because it is a local structure to this program so what we have to do we have to pass the structure which should be global and we can create with the help of sc11 transaction code see this structure it will not accept this structure it will not accept because it is a local structure to this group so here if i want to generate a field catalog so i have to pass a structure which is global and we can create with the help of sc11 transaction code any this structure is a collection of columns rather than passing the local structure we will pass the global structure and we will create a structure with the help of sc11 transaction code i will go to sc11 i will give some name to the structure i am selecting the third radio button suppose z structure order i'll click on create button structure order details structure order details similarly this structure has seven columns i'll simply do the copy paste p b e l n e r dat e r z e t sorry E R Z D T, E R Num, B B Type, O S N A R and M A T E N A R. I'll pass the corresponding data elements. E R num V P T Y P L O S N A R underscore V A and M A T E N A. I will activate this particular structure and I will pass this structure in front of this parameter of S C P function module. now you pass the structure of seven columns in the return it will give us the field catalog so i will declare one internal table in front of this changing parameter as a programming best practices always always uncomment the exceptions if some error will come at least we will not get a run time error now in front of ct field cat i declared lt field cat so what will be the type of lt field cat it will be same as that of ct field cat so how i can check the type i will double click on the function module i'll go to changing tab this ct field cat is of this type so i'll copy this type and i will declare in my program data lt underscore field cat type 
I'll check the syntax and I'm activating the program. So our data is in LT underscore final internal table. Our field catalog is in LT underscore field catalog internal table. Means our field catalog is ready, data is ready. In ALV by core of app concepts, what, we, what you did at that point of time. After that, you used reuse ALV list display or reuse ALV grid display, and you displayed the output. Now we have to display the ALV by object-oriented concept so we will make use of SAP standard classes. We'll start with our first thing. We will create a object of the container and what is the class given by SAP for the container? CLGUI custom container. So I will declare one object which will refer to this particular class. Type ref to CL GUI custom container. So I declared one object which will refer to this particular class. We all know how to create a object. We already covered in object oriented programming. Create object, LO underscore object. Now I will check the syntax. And you can see I am getting a error. No value passed to the mandatory parameter container underscore name. When we covered the topic constructor at that time, I told you in ALV by oops concept, we will see the real use of constructor. See, whenever we are creating the object, SAP is calling the constructor method of this class automatically. So I'll go to this particular class. I will search for constructor method here. I'll find next. And you can see there is a method constructor. It means whenever I'm writing the statement, create object object name, this method is automatically calling. If I will go for parameters and you can see these many parameters are in this constructor method. I cannot give the type importing, exporting, changing, returning. It means all these parameters are by default what importing parameters and you can see all are optional all are optional if you see all are optional except this parameter and this is the error which we are getting that you have to pass the value of container underscore name this is your instance constructor and we already covered Yes, in case of instance constructor, you have an option for importing parameters and you can give the input. You can give the input for every instance. It means we have to give the input to this particular parameter name. How we can give? So that is a input parameter in the constructor method. So here it will act as exporting. And what is the parameter name? Container underscore name. And I will give some name to the container. 
you can give any name but same name should be used while designing the container one of the most important and real use of constructor see we have not called the constructor method it's automatically called and we pass the value of the container at that particular instance yes so we just pass the value and this is the real time use of your instance constructor whenever this object will create we are passing the value of the container yes we are passing the name of the container i'll check the syntax and i'm activating the program so rest part will continue in that next video thank you